Um, she says, um, the, what was her name? Scam. Scam. Okay. Scam says it works. How's it going? Good. Be right back. Give me a second. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, this time I wanted to talk about my experience with the uh, St. Louis Pen Show, which was just a few weeks ago, uh, which is, I think I didn't have a, a video up that week, that weekend, um, just because I was actually trying to record a lot and then by Sunday at the airport, I wanted to edit a video and then come home and do it and like finalize the edits or whatever. But I'm like, this is too much. I was super exhausted. Um, so I just didn't do it. I just, I, I saved it for for today. So um, I'm wearing my new super cool hat from Inky Converters, uh, which is one of the things I got there. But um, let's just, I'm gonna go through, let me just quickly summarize my agenda for this video, which is my experience, uh, some of the things that I won, uh, bidding, so yeah, like an auction thing, um, and things that I bought. So um, to start off, um, this is my first time taking my little stationery shop um, outside of Chicago. I've done the Chicago Pen Show for three years, and you know, it's that time when you're like, I either need to venture out to other pen shows or be stuck with the same um, uh, results, I suppose. Uh, it's just, I need to put my brand in front of more people. That was the main purpose of this um, of this trip. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit anxious, mainly because of the packing. Um, I decided to fly to St. Louis. Uh, for, so from Chicago, it's like like 39 to 45 minutes uh, in, an, in an airplane. Um, and I flew southwest, so I knew I had um, two two bags, you know, two checked-in bags, and then a carry-on, uh, and then a personal bag. So I just, I didn't want to, since I was flying by myself, I was going by myself, I didn't want to risk just taking too many things and then coming back with a lot and just stressing myself out over that. So I only took one checked-in bag, um, and a carry-on and a small um, duffel bag with some merchandise and personal items. Um, my carry-on had all of my notebooks because that bag was so heavy. I was like, if I put this in a checked-in bag, that's all I'm gonna be able to take. Um, so anyway, I did that, which was, the bag was super heavy anyway. Um, and then I didn't take a lot of ink. Um, I looked at the vendors list and I saw that both Drum Ghouls and Lemur Ink were gonna be there. Um, and both of them carry Monarca, which is an ink that I also carry. So I decided, I, I thought they're probably gonna take it. So I'm just not gonna deal with it. Um, and turns out none of us took Monarca to the show. So now I know I either need to reach out next time. I'm like, hey, are you thinking of, you know, taking Monarca or, you know, whatever. Just to just to balance it out, we you know we want to leave enough room for everybody to to make some sales, um, but yeah, that would have helped. Just because like I feel like a lot of people were looking for ink, um, and I only took my two shop exclusive inks: the Azul Frida, the blue, and the Amarillo Antiguo, the yellow ink, uh, which I've sold a few bottles, but I feel like I needed way more ink than I took. I did take my favorite um, Blue Star Crafts items. I didn't take a lot of the briefcases just because I didn't want to deal with like, like 
all of that. Uh, but I think next time I will be taking at least two of, of the each color. Um, and of course, I took a lot of my rickshaw, which almost all sold out. Um, my notebook sold out. And then I took coloring books, which two of them sold out at the show. Um, but yeah, that was my sales experience, I suppose. Uh, overall, this show was very, very well run. I had information information from the beginning. Um, the hotel was nice. What was really nice about the hotel was that they have a shuttle to the airport, so you didn't have to pay um, Ubers. So as soon as I got there, there was actually a shuttle already waiting. I did have to ask around, like, are you taking, are you going to this um, hotel or whatever? And they confirmed. They packed up my bags. Um, and you, we were set. I think we got to the hotel in like 10 minutes. So it was not that far. And the hotel was nice. Um, some of the things are a little outdated. Like the toilets are really, really low. So, um, yeah, there's that to consider, which was fine, you know. <laughs> um, and also the stalls in the, like, the ballroom area, that conference area where we have the pen show. They were, they're a little tight. So I know that's nothing like the show organizers can help, but, you know. The hotel could probably work on that. What was also really nice was that on Thursday night, because I got there on Thursday, uh, Thursday morning, um, on Thursday afternoon, the hotel has this plaza. And every third Thursday, I believe, they have free live music. So that was super cool. I'll see if I can post a little clip here. Um, Yeah, that was super fun super cool to see people just coming into the plaza and, and they had random little um like bars around the plaza so people can go and get a drink and come back to see the show that was pretty fun the hotel also has a small pool um i didn't i didn't know about it or didn't like i don't know i just didn't look at much of the details but not like i had enough time to go enjoy the pool but it was nice like it was nice to have an outdoor pool uh, so it was a, a pleasant view. Um, some people have said that they've made that show like a small vacation for their family and they go to the zoo, enjoy the, the hotel, uh, the pool. Um, let me see. Check-in was easy. I got there super early, uh, like at 11 or so. And check-in was supposed to be at 3 p.m., I think, 3 or 4. And they actually had my like room ready, so I was able to go in at the time I, I got there, which was great. Uh, let me see what else. Overall, this show is a little bit smaller than Chicago, but it was a good size. Like there was a lot of excitement, a lot of new um, like stationary enthusiasts. There were a lot of people looking for beginner like calligraphy supplies, which I didn't have a ton, like I will any. All I have was notebooks to practice and some inks. Um, but I think people were really interested in like the workbooks, uh, maybe some calligraphy pens and stuff like that. But it was really cool to see that there was like a little bit of everything. Uh, there were a handful of, um, of fountain pen makers there. And from what I heard, at least my neighbor, uh, who was Magnolia Pen Company, like he had a pretty good show and he had some pretty good pens, pretty cool pens. Um, I don't know what, I mean, and, and then after hours, uh, the, sh the hotel has a really cool bar with food. So there was like definitely a great opportunity for those, um, um, like those, what do they call it? Pen show after dark, something like that. I forget the verbiage now, right now, but yeah, it was, it was really cool to convene. Uh, and just share pens and papers and inks. I try to stick around for some of that, but I'll be honest, like by the end of Friday, I was starting to feel like I was losing my voice. I was trying not to do much of that um, because then like Saturday morning I woke up and I could barely like talk. Uh, but overall the weekend was, was fun. It was great. And I loved seeing a lot of my, um, 
old friends that I had seen at the other shows and online. I met quite a few people. Um, I gained a bunch of new followers for my shop because like I was new to the area. So that was pretty fun. Um, let me see, I'm gonna move on to some of the free things that I got at the show. Um, and one of them was a super cool rickshaw sleeve. Um, Cheryl from Rickshaw uh, was there and she took a bunch, let me see, yeah, focus. She took a bunch of these little guys and I put my uh, my Amarillo pen in there. So I was walking around with that. That was super cool. They also did one for the Chicago pen show, but I just found it after like months of looking because it was actually in my duffel bag that I carry to the pen shows and I hadn't unpacked most of it since then. Uh, and the the sleeve came with a bunch of little stickers, so yeah, I'll be adding those to my to my notebooks. Um, also, something that was really cool with the pen show was the way they did the raffles, the door prices, and the auction because it was all online. Um, there were big signs at the at the front of the pen show where you go in to the to the pen show where you can scan with your phone um, your entry for the raffles. And then as well, you could make an account to aux to bid on the auction item. So that was super cool. And for the, the auction, you could actually see like where the auction was at any given time. It, it was a silent auction, so you could always check. And um, I'll show you in a minute what I bid on, but I did win uh, a door prize, which included this super cool pen holder, pen and sample, because I, I think it can do samples in there. You can do samples, and then, let me see, do I have a pen? I'm sure I have a pen here somewhere. So yeah, a pen and sample holder. Uh, oh, I also got, um, this ink, which is an Esterbrook Shimmer Tangerine. Oh, I was trying to remember what else. They gave me a little basket. Uh, I'll see if I can put a picture if I find it. But they also had this uh, A5 line Japanese notepad. There is a, the, with the question, Tomoe River paper. You can't see that, sorry. Uh, so yeah, I'll enjoy that. I'm not a huge fan of lined paper, but I'm sure I'll, you know, take advantage of this. Um, that was that. Oh, and my auction was nine bottles of Rick of uh, Pannonia ink. So I won my bid. It was kind of crazy. Like there weren't a lot of bids because uh, there were two sets of these. And these are his most, oops, those were his most recent um, ink launches. And I got it. I won't say, well, yeah, I got it for $35. I wasn't going to say, but yeah, it was a, an amazing deal. So remember to always check out the auctions because if people are not bidding, like, you can get a crazy deal. So that was that. Um, and let me see. I don't think I bought a ton. Um I almost wanted to buy a fountain pen, but which would have been from Magnolia Pen Company because he was right next to me. He was a super cool vendor, super cool person, and he had some really good looking pens. But I have been buying pens left and right lately, and I was like, I really should hold off. But I, the, from the few things that I bought, let me show you. I bought the Pen Show Ink from KWZ which is, um, I think it's called Big Muddy. And it was a beautiful green color with shimmer and beautiful shading. So I'll see if I can do a swatch later. Or I'll find one and put it here. Um, <clears throat> I bought that. Oh, and then I hit up the Traveler's Notebook. Um, uh, let me see if I cover my face. <laughs> um, I hit up the Traveler's Notebook. Um, table and they had the the Tokyo edition items so I bought me a little brass pencil because it looks super cute I almost went for the um 
the cover, but I have two and I'm only using one of the Traveler's Notebook because I also use my Franklin Kristoff. So I was like, I don't need to do that. Um, <clears throat> and then I think the last purchase, oh, and then I also got this hat, of course, from Inky Converters. Uh, which I wanted it from when I saw it at the Chicago print show, but she sold out. So I, that was one of the first things I bought. I was like, I need to go get, get me a hat. And it's super cute. Stationary, not stationary. So that was that. I also bought a t-shirt from, um, I think she's a vendor from St. Louis. It's a young lady who had awesome, cool t-shirt designs. It's an octopus with a bunch of like, like inks and fountain holding fountain pens. So it was really cute. Um, and then one of my favorite purchases from the show is like a pair of Jing Hao pens from Keith over at Random Keith. Let me see if I can just focus on the pens. But these were awesome. Um, they look like Namikis, I think. And they were like 20 some dollars. Like these are pens. These are great pens. And what's pretty awesome is that Keith, like, takes the pens when he buys them, cleans them completely, and then tunes the nibs. So these are perfect to go. All of the, the all of the pens that he was selling um, were inked because he wanted people to try them out and take the one that they preferred. So they all had this purple ink, and they were so inexpensive that I was like, I think I want these two. At first, I only took the the red one uh but then i was like yeah let me go ahead and take that pretty yellow one as well and then he also included um let me see if i can zoom in or like focus on that he also included this big converter which i'm assuming is the one that came with the pen because it says jing hao and three four five six cartridges and there's also one in the pen so one per per pen so that was pretty cool um, so yeah, these were like 20 some dollars. So I, I think I spent like what 50 on both of these So I was pretty happy with like my pen purchases from the show um, But yeah, and overall the experience was fantastic um, Like I said, it is smaller than Chicago But it was great I got to share with a lot of friends meet new friends uh, had amazing food. We had Indian on Friday and then on Saturday we had Vietnamese food. So good. So yummy. Um, on Thursday night I got there and I was by myself so I went to McDonald's. <laughs> and then Sunday I was at the airport so I got like, I don't know, like a $15 sandwich. <laughs> um... Yeah, and I think that's my experience. So, yeah, it's for sure, like, it's a good show. It's a small show. Uh, great hotel. Great transportation from the airport to the hotel. Uh, the hotel does not have pay parking, so it's all free parking. A lot of great places to eat around there. Um, super awesome organizers and volunteers. They were all amazing. And from the very beginning, I got there. And they all had these huge smiles on their faces. Um, so that was really nice to see as opposed to other shows I've been to. Um, yeah, so I think I'll be back. And then my next show this year is Orlando in September. So I've learned a few things and I've learned that I will be taking my ink. So I will be checking in two bags this time and maybe i'll ship out a few a few boxes because that may make my life a little bit easier so anyway friends thank you so much for watching this video i just wanted to quickly recap my experience at the st louis pen show if you're able to and you want to check it out next year because they're pretty awesome so thank you for watching bye bye